Send and receive text messages anywhere in the world with a Spot X. But is it as good as it seems? Here are the Spot X pros and cons. My name is Steven Smith and I've been backpacking and teaching people to backpack for over 10 years. I love backpacking, hiking, and camping. So if you love those things too, then do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so that you never miss a video. So now without wasting any more of your time, here are the things that I like and some of the things I don't like about the Spot X. And if you want to jump ahead to all the things I don't like, then fast forward to the timestamp at the bottom of your screen. But first, here's what I like about the Spot X. Pro number one, you can send and receive text messages anywhere in the world. Now, normally I wouldn't like this. Most of the time when I'm headed into the backcountry, it's to get away. And I don't like the idea of someone being able to contact me or even the temptation of sending messages back home when I came out here to be in the wilderness. But this year is a little different for me. My wife is currently seven months pregnant and I'm committed to a backpacking trip just days before the due date. So the idea of my wife being able to contact me while I'm in the backcountry to let me know that it's time to pack up and hike out gives me some peace of mind. And let's face it, there are numerous situations where this can come in handy. And if you're buying a Spot X, then chances are that you have a situation in mind. So if you need to communicate with the outside world, then a Spot X is one of your only options. Just don't expect it to work as well as text messages on your cell phone. But I'll talk more about that in a minute. Pro number two, you can check in with friends and family. This is different than a text message. I mean, obviously you could check in with a text also, but long before Spot ever offered two-way messaging, they had the OK button. It's a very simple feature that allows you to send a predetermined message like I'm okay or we are okay to a predetermined set of contacts. I've been using this feature for years. I, I purchased my first Spot Satellite Messenger back in 2009 specifically for this feature. I was looking for a way to give peace of mind to me and my family while I was in the backcountry. Since then I've had a Spot device on me every time that I go out. My wife knows that I'll send an I'm okay message every breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This helps my wife to worry less and know that I'm alive and well. The Spot X still has this feature, but it has added multiple predetermined messages. So in addition to the I'm OK message, you can have up to 14 predetermined messages. And you may wonder what's the point if you can just send a text message of whatever you want to whoever you want. But you see, Spot has a variety of service plans, some of which have a limited number of text messages but you can send an unlimited number of predetermined messages no matter which service plan you choose. So sometimes predetermined messages can be beneficial no matter what service plan you have. Pro number three, in an emergency you can send two-way communication with search and rescue teams, which the SOS feature is another reason why I purchased my first spot back in 2009. Spot X takes the SOS feature a step further by allowing you to text back and forth with search and rescue coordinators after you've activated the SOS button. Pro number four, tracking capabilities. So this is a feature that once again, Spot has had available on several of their devices for many years. Basically what the tracking feature does is it allows you to drop digital GPS breadcrumbs that allow friends and family members to follow your progress back home. In the past, I've been slightly disappointed with the interval of breadcrumbs. I believe that on my Spot Generation 2, it dropped a breadcrumb about every 20 minutes or so. But with the Spot X, you can actually change the interval to anything between 30 minutes to 2.5 minutes. In addition to this, if you don't want to use the tracking feature, but you do want to let a friend know where you are, you can choose to send GPS and elevation data in a text message to anyone that you choose. So those are the things that I like about the Spot X, but here's everything that I don't like. Con number one, the antenna has to be pointed straight up. My number one complaint is the constant little error message telling you to point the antenna straight up. Maybe this is okay if you send a message and then you clip the Spot X onto your backpack, but any other time that you are sending a message, including when the Spot X is in your hands, this is impractical. If you want to set the Spot X down while it takes five minutes or more to send or receive a message, then you got to prop it up with something to keep the antenna pointed straight up, which just isn't practical. Con number two, it takes a long time to send or receive a message. In tests that I've run, it took an average of five minutes to send a message and another five minutes to receive a message back. 
If for some reason you wanna have a conversation, even a short one, with friends or family, this is gonna get old fast. Which might encourage you to set the device down and spend some time outdoors like you came out here to do to begin with. And I guess you could argue that if you want to have a conversation with someone back home, well then, stay home. Con number three, there's no confirmation on sent messages. One of the things that I really liked about my Spot Generation 2 is the little confirmation light letting me know that my message was sent successfully. Since owning a Spot X, I can't seem to find any sort of confirmation that a text was sent successfully, which brings me to con number four. Not all messages go through. Over the last couple of weeks, I have used the Spot X extensively, and I've noticed that my friends and family didn't always seem to get every message that I sent, nor did I seem to get every message that was sent to me. Con number five, you can't change the battery. Something that I've always appreciated about my Spot Generation 2 is that you can change the batteries, but the Spot X requires a charger. The good news is, is that one charge does seem to last several days. Even when I was intentionally trying to drain the battery quickly, I still managed to get about three to four days of life out of a one charge. I'm sure that you could get more with regular use, but it'd be nice to be able to change the battery. Con number six, navigation is extremely limited. Now, I haven't spent a whole lot of time playing with the navigation on the Spot X, mainly because it seems like an afterthought, but honestly, it isn't a navigation device. And frankly, I wouldn't want to be wasting battery life on a device that is intended to save my life in an emergency. In my opinion, if you want navigation, then get a dedicated GPS device and save your spot for something that it's good at, messaging. So even though that's more cons than pros, in all honesty, I'm just being nitpicky. I mean, we're talking about a device that is designed to and can save your life in an emergency. Even with the cons, it's an amazing piece of technology with a bunch of additional extra features that just a few years ago were completely unheard of. So should you buy a Spot X? Well, that's completely up to you. But I know, at least for me, I'm going to be hanging on to mine for a little while longer. So there you have it, the Spot X pros and cons. Did I miss something? Did you like this video? Drop me a comment below. I do need to let you know that I did receive this spot for free from Spot for this review, but these are my honest opinions. Did you enjoy this video? Then make sure that you like it below and leave me a comment. Remember that it takes a lot of work to produce a video like this, and it's simple interactions like those that allow me to continue to make great content like this. Please be sure to check out my other videos. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell for updates so that you never miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching.